Nelson is down. Now he looks like he's in trouble. And Curry is very hurt. He nailed Curry. That's a he's got hurt. Curry. 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 Zoo with the left hook, Phillips answers with the right. These guys want to open up with some good shots. Zoo with some quick hands, Phillips comes right back. Good left hook by Zoo, drives Phillips back. Phillips comes at him. Keep him up, keep him up. Phillips goes low a little bit, warned by Benji Estevez. Good right hand by Phillips to the head. Makes Costa Zoo come back at him. Good right hand by Costa Zoo and Zoo another, one. another one. Left hook by Phillips. They keep coming on and this heats up. It heats up a fiery exchange at the end of round three. Chopping right by Phillips, chopping right by Zoo. But even though he's got it against a taller fighter, sometimes it doesn't come into play. Good counter-punching round for him. Good hook by Zoo. Between rounds, Kenny Adams was telling Vince Phillips it's time to start putting the left hook behind the right hand. Let's see if he does it. But Phillips has been pretty responsive to his corner. Now Zoo opens up on him. Good action between Phillips and Zoo, and now Phillips comes back, and Zoo smiles to acknowledge the impact of Phillips. The rough hook by Phillips. Slapping shots here by Zoo. Wrestling and holding. Oh, shot and Zoo is down. Signals he's okay, but he walked into a bomb. Hook by Zoo as Phillips went straight back. Good left hook by Zoo. Phillips walked through. Phillips is now cut, but he lands a big right hand. Let's see if the cut motivates Zoo. And one would think that at this point, Phillips was ahead. Big right by Good. Phillips. Left hand again. Oh, 
Uppercut by Zhu. Uppercut by Phillips. Driving Zhu back. I think Phillips got the better of that exchange. Big right again. Zhu is wobbly. A chance for Phillips. Zhu in big trouble. It could end. Vince Phillips is very close to having a title. They've got to stop this. They do. They hold on. They hold on. They do. Vince Phillips, a dramatic victory. Well, he should have been here. He's the most inexperienced guy to be fighting this fight, would you say, Bob? Yes, but I tell you, if you see the way he's coming out here with Ali just hanging on the ropes, covering his face, <laughs> Spinks is either going to punch himself out or uh, he's going to uh, score a lot of points here, which obviously he is doing at this point so early in the fight. Well, of course, this is Ali's rope-a-dope strategy. That Ali completely content to let him take this first round. And in fact, see those blows to the kidneys there? Those are the things that I objected to so much for him fighting. I just didn't think he needed to get on the ropes and let a guy hammer at his kidneys. Leon has to just keep doing what he's doing. He's doing very, very well. When you look at this great champion over the years, uh, the midsection is quite uh, uncharacteristic of him. As Spakes now beats on him in the neutral corner, and Ali uh, just uh, does the old Fla uh, Floyd Patterson, uh, what does he call that, the peekaboo style? Less than second, 10 seconds now remaining in round three as Leon Spinks goes after the champion in, uh, in a neutral corner and uh, we're just about the end of round three. Here, when he gets in clinches, he tends to hold and lean on you and wrap the left hand around the back head of the opponent. But right, you're right. I, I think he was warning him about a dangling participle at the end of a sentence. He's been doing more <laughs> talking than fighting through this round. And Ali missing an awful lot of punches. You, you never, the good action, good action in the corner now. Ali finally getting away from doing some fighting, but he's taking a lot in return, and now it goes right back to the corner doing nothing. Well, up to this point, there's going to be a tremendous amount of confidence coming out of Leon Spinks. Mm -hmm. Does a lot of slipping. Good right hand. Knocks the uh, champion back a few steps. Tries to follow it up. And that's that's a point, Bob. Uh, good point. Leon is deceptive. It doesn't look like he's that uh, uh, hard to miss, but he is. Well, no, no. Good right hand there by Ali. It looked like it scored. The gloves slip off when they when they hit. The, the punches seem to slide off all that grease. And it really makes the cornermen feel better than it does the uh, fighters. Fighters well, Leon, care less. Let's look at Leon here. He's uh, really uh, he's gritting his teeth here and looks like he's trying for a KO. It's hard to score against him. But you must look at it in the cold light of reality. Leon's coming on. It's Muhammad Ali on our scorecards at least. Ferdy Pacheco. Uh, having him perhaps trailing a little bit, of course, we're unofficial, but uh, what about Angelo? Could you pick up any more conversation from Angelo to his fight? Yeah, Angelo sensed uh, that Ali was moving into the charge, was waking up and getting into the enthusiasm of the fight. He told Ali, go out there and take these rounds, they go out and get rid of this guy. Enough of this. We're behind. We need these rounds. And he, he is pushing Leon, as you said, pushing Leon back and making the fight the way he wants to do it. And here he see scoring heavily for the first time. In fact, I think you've got to go back to 1976. And he KO'd Richard Dunn in Munich, Germany. And he's had several fights since then. So if he's thinking knockout, or he was thinking knockout, uh, uh, perhaps, uh, well, Leon, look at this point, is a great exchange by both of these fighters. He's just not Ali tonight. You can feel it, you can sense it. Oh, here's a great exchange. Punching away there, and... Oh, what a left hand by Ali. So you don't just don't get there that easy. you got to fight it out with Ali in the 15th round. But now you're watching so, Ali tired. He's bouncing around. Ali should be punching with both hands. But instead, it stinks that comes back, and he's throwing everything he's got in both punches. Here comes Binks again. He's keeping him in his corner. He will not let him out. Now they're punching. Oh, he just got hammered. Binks just got hammered with the right hand. And now Binks still... Still in front of him, still won't move back. Now he just got hammered again. Another left and a right, another right by Ali. But Spinks punching now. Spinks is in the corner, and Ali's got him where he wants him. Ali should be going with both hands. There it is, left and a right, a left and a right, a left and a right. And Spinks comes back with a counter, another counter, another, another. And there's Spinks backing up the champion, hitting him with both hands. And there's Ali having his back to the rope, trying to pot shot one good shot, and that was it, that right hand. Back again with both hands at desperation. It's almost a futile effort. But Leon, can he take that kind of punishment? Leon is taking it. Now it's 13 seconds. Now Leon, having him against the rope, is throwing everything he can. It's eight seconds away, or he's lost it. He's just hammered Ali. Ali looks like he's in trouble. He's leaning against the rope. It's two seconds. It's one, and it's a foul. It's a right hand. 141. The new. There it is. Leon speaks.
Sheik pulled it off. He is pulled off the upset of upset. This young kid is now the heavyweight champion of the world, beating maybe the greatest fighter of all time, Muhammad Ali. And much more accomplished fighter. Here we go, round one of this championship fight. Morrison in the black trunks with the stars and stripes. Bent in the white trunks. Tommy Morrison, if he wins this fight, will go on to a big payday with Lennox Lewis, and that one hurt. Michael Bent in trouble already, but trying to fight out of there. And a left connected, and Bent in trouble again. And Tommy Morrison trying to end it early. And a good right by Ben. And Tommy Morrison is down at 2 5 of the first round. So Morrison connected and hurt Ben. Ben came back with a right hand and floors Morrison. Now Morrison has been down before in fights that he has won. And now Tommy Morrison gets hit with a left and he knocks. Morrison down again. Tommy Morrison in deep trouble here in the first round. And a lot of time remaining in round number one. You can see the bewilderment in the eyes of Tommy Morrison as Michael Bent from New York City looking to finish him off. And Bent just throwing nothing but haymakers right now. And Morrison in deep trouble. And Morrison is down. And the fight is over. Michael Bent has upset Tommy Morrison and has won the WBO Heavyweight Championship of the World. A huge upset in the first round as Tommy Morrison is knocked out by Michael Bent. Uppercuts, hooks, crosses, everything. And no, WBO Heavyweight Champion of the World. Hannigan, the balding man in the, as was described, trunks of many colors. Donald with only four rounds in the last year. Good right hand by Hunnigan. We're here in Atlantic City at Caesars Atlantic City. And a right hand buckled Curry's knees. He got hit hard with the right hand. And he's holding on and pushes Curry away. Donald's in trouble. He is in trouble. He's moving on a bicycle. Gil, you son of a gun, you're probably right. There is a bit of ring rust on him. He's catching a lot more punches than he should. Another right hand again. Boy, has he got Curry's head popping back. Hunnigan must know Rodney Dangerfield. He's showing absolutely no respect. Oh, a good right hand. He hurt Hunnigan. Well, he's setting up with the left hook to the body. Right hand, right hand. Curry has him in a little bit of trouble. Really, Gil. I didn't think he was two, that two good body punches by Curry. And good punches by Hunnigan. Oh, right hand. And Curry is badly hurt. He nailed Curry. That's he's got him hurt. Curry. Oh, oh, Curry's wings are gone. Another oh. right hand. And Hunnigan knows he's hurt him. He's not using the jab. Blood now flowing. Another right hand. hand. Another right hand hurt him. from all sides. Oh, two good punches by Hunnigan. He has a bad cut over his left eye. A very, very bad cut, and it's in a very bad spot. It's under the eyebrow. Couldn't be in a worse spot. In this situation, the referee did not indicate that the cut was from a butt. And if the doctor decides that Curry can't go on, there goes the title. Absolutely. Oh, right hand again. He left hook, right hand. And Curry is badly hurt now, Bill. Did they stop the fight? It's a very, very bad cut. They stopped the fight, and we have a new world champion. They stopped the fight. And again, that's what makes boxing such a great sport. One of the most unbelievable upsets, and the winner is Lloyd.
Floyd Hunnigan, who is tackled in mid-ring by Mickey Duff. He is the new undisputed welterweight champion of the world. And you know, Bill, even though it was a butt that opened the cut on Donald Curry's eye, you have to give Floyd Hunnigan credit, because the way the fight was going, he was almost certainly going to win the fight unless Curry could pull it out with one punch. He was winning on my scorecard. He was ahead five.